What is going on everyone? Tena here and in this video, we are going to be comparing the constellation of Alhaitham. And also, we're going to take a look at Yao Yao. Her character modeling looks so cute. She has this little basket and she runs around. She is a Dendro healer, which means we can probably use her in Alhaitham team. For example, if you were to come up with a Nilo team, the problem with that team was that the healer that we need in that team was very expensive. We needed Kokomi. She's a 5-star, right? But if we can replace her with Yao Yao, then it's gonna be very good. But then we might probably have to tweak their stats here and there. But hey, that's a big change when Yao Yao is introduced in the game, right? But this video, we need to give the highlight to our Alhaitham, right? So... We have kept the same stats as we have showcased in the previous video. If you have missed that, I want you to check it out right here. Anyways, we have found out that Alhaitham has a energy recharge problem if you just build her as a oh, DPS, kind of. But this is the constellation that I said that is probably going to be worth. The problem with this E skill is that his cooldown is too long. However, with this constellation, we should be able to see that we can probably have better rotation with Alhaitham in the team. So, let me bring back the old team and do a little showcase against one boss. Because it is very important for us to figure out if a character is good against one boss or many monsters. Keep that in mind that this team is not very optimal for Alhaitham. But, basically what we're doing is trying to compare the rotation compared to what we had to see in the last video. So, here we go. After a couple of hits and charge attacks here and there, I was able to see that I'll hate them's cooldown is down to 7 seconds. Which means you can go back to your other characters and do some elemental skills, use ult if you can, and then come back to I'll hate them and still be able to have a good rotation, right? And I will show you that exactly in Spirit Abyss against a lot of monsters. Probably the best team for I'll hate them is Aggravate. But in order for us to do a little stress testing, I would like to put him in a Nilo team, along with Yao Yao. For my usual showcase, they all have talent level 6. We'll put Nilo, and then also Traveler, because just in case my Alhaitem needs extra energy charge, you know? Okay, first we waste Alhaitem's Q. Use Traveler E two times. Okay, not being able to spam his E feels very uncomfortable when it comes to utilizing his skill. Like, he has to actually run towards the enemy. Like, that is the biggest downside of him. So, let us see if his C2 is going to fix him, right? So, here is C2. When Alhaitem generates a mirror, his elemental mastery will be increased by 50 for 8 seconds and max 4 stacks. Each stack's duration is counted independently. This effect can be triggered even when the maximum number of Chiso Light Mirrors has been reached. So, in order for you to reach 4 stacks, it is by creating mirrors when you're using Q. So, you can get them from using your E when there's no mirror. And after you use your Q, you get 1 mirror, so that's 3. And then, after that, you can do a charge attack or plunging attack. So that way, you can have 4 stacks. So, Q, double E. Lida Q, little E right here. I'll hate him. Okay. Okay, after C2 comparison, there is no question that Mihoyo probably wanted us to run I hate him in a aggravate team. We weren't able to see too much of a damage difference even if we used him as a hyper carry. Anyways. If you're spending extra money on Alhaitham, keep that in mind that you would definitely want to use him either for a Nilo team or Aggravate team. C3 gives you extra level on your E. This is the multiplier at level 9. Alright, C4. When you use your Q, each mirror consumed will increase the elemental mastery of all other near party members by 30 for 15 seconds. And each mirror generated will grant Alhaitham a 10% dendro damage bonus for 15 seconds. Q3 
Keep that in mind that max elemental mastery buff you can give to other party member is going to be 90 because he can only hold up to 3 mirrors. Okay, so I wish I can just kind of continue on doing the damage with this I'll hate them hyper carry team, but I think I would like to swap that around. I would like to take a look at his damage using the aggravate team, okay? So before we get into C4 showcase, I would like to let you know that Raiden Shogun has 70 EM. Bennett has 56, and Kazuha has 1,071. And my Alhatham has 75% Dendro damage bonus, so we're expecting to see 105%. Okay. Here's my Q. And then I consumed my mirrors. I'm assuming that gave me the bonus right away. Okay, I can see that we got 90 EM bonus for Raiden Shogun. Okay, so from that, we know that we immediately, after casting his Q, we got the bonus right away because his mirrors are consumed. 160 EM, 146, 1161. And then we will see... What the fuck? And then, now we see that we have 105 Dendro damage bonus. I think it's a little unfair that it takes a whole duration for his Q, and then when that ends, I get the mirror. It would have been nicer if his mirrors got consumed or whatever after he used Q right away, and then gave us back the mirror accordingly, you know? And then C5 gives you extra level for your Q, and this is at level 9. Now we move on to C6. Two seconds after using your Q, you will generate three mirrors regardless of the number of mirrors consumed. Okay, this is good because look at the C4. As I have mentioned, C4 kind of seems to be weird, right? You could either get partial of the first one and, you know, some of the last one, which is kind of, I don't know, I, I felt like it's a little bit of a ripoff. But then getting C6 gets you all of these buff all together. Just make sure that you have all the mirrors before you use your Q, then you can get all of the bonus here which is going to be pretty broken. And then, here's the catch. If you create mirrors more than 3, then your crit rate and critical damage will increase by 10% and 70% for 6 seconds. And if this happens again, then the duration will increase by 6 seconds. So, the maximum duration you can get here is 18 seconds. So, right after you use your Q, your mirrors gets consumed. And it takes a little bit of time for you to get the mirrors back up, right? So, right after you use your Q, you can use your E. Because from that, you have no mirrors, right? So from that, you make two. And then after you use your Q, you will generate three, right? So two plus three equals five. You have two excess amount of mirrors that you have already created. And this thing has no duration restriction. From that, you already have 12 seconds. And then if you do a charge attack, then you'll get six seconds again. Unfortunately, you will not be able to spam his passive. So while you're waiting for this cooldown, which is 12 seconds, your mirrors will start to go away, which means that your max buff duration of the C6 is going to be 18 seconds. Okay, anyways, C6, I'll hate them. Okay, I do tons of damage. I got 10% crit rate and 70% critical damage. This is unreal. Oh my god. I feel like I'm looking at C6 Hotel over again. Do I like the damage? I like the damage, yes. What kind of character is not good with this kind of skill kit? Those bonus on Constellation with this kind of elemental mastery? Overall, he's an okay character. But Genshin Impact does not require you that much of a damage. I absolutely hate talking about how character is worth or not by comparing it to other characters when it comes to getting 36 stars in Spirit Beast, because I just absolutely hate that. But that's why you guys are watching this video, right? You want to know if you should be spending your money or free Primo Gems to improve your team. If that is the question, I would say no. It's not gonna be worth your money. It would be so much better for you to go for a character that will last longer. For example, there is... I know Zhongli is not the best anymore, but as long as your DPS is okay, Zhongli is very, very long-lasting character. Venti still kind of works. Kazuha, Raiden Shogun, Nahida, Ayaka, Yelan, and so on. You know, just in case you watch this video like long, long time later, like four years later after I publish this, you'll be like, what the f*** is this video talking about? So to sum everything up, I'll hate them is interesting character at C0. There are some pros and cons. You don't need to double E like Kaching anymore. 
but you have a longer cooldown. And unlike Keqing, as you get more constellation, you get a lot stronger. I would like to say that he's one of the more unfortunate characters that came out at a wrong time. If Nahida didn't come out, I think a lot of people would be looking at his design and be like, oh my god, I need this character. Because his character design is absolutely gorgeous. You know, although I thought he would be more closer to Keqing when it comes to playstyle, I think he's more of a greedy character. He wants to be out in the field. But one thing that is very notable about Al Haytham is that he can infuse Dendro by himself even without using his E. I think that's the really really interesting part about him. Besides Ayaka, there's not many characters that can infuse elements on demand. And it feels like Al Haytham can. Genshin Impact tells you to overextend on the field and they give you ability to do that. So he is he's worse than Ayaka when it comes to infusion. But he is better than most of the characters. Keep that in mind that I'm talking about sword, bow, and polearm characters. We are excluding the catalyst characters, okay? Because they're just... She's too broken. We can't put her in here. We can't compare anything in here. Because if you were to compare any character with those really broken characters, then they will all look like shit. So please, let's give Al Haytham a break. So do I like him? Yes, I love his design. I love his... Eh, I almost love his playstyle. But I found it a little clunky. Because you have to remember all the time that you have to have three mirrors out in the field before you use your Q so that you can get all the bonus and stuff. How would I rate his C6? No, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Unless you're a YouTuber who wants to showcase or I don't know, if you can wipe your ass with $100 bills all the time, then sure, why not? However, do not. I know that some of you whales wants to C6 everything in game, but I don't think I'll hate them is it. If you guys have any suggestion or criticism about this video, I read all the comments in the video, so let me know how I can improve the future contents. And you probably have noticed this Christmas tree right here. Um, I forgot to take it out. And now I'm too lazy. But there's one thing you can do to help me out. You can subscribe to my channel and help me get 455k subscribers. I would definitely take it down. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.